Hi everyone and welcome back to another uh, video and today I'm going to be teaching you how to run a Minecraft server. Now to run a Minecraft server there's a few things you have to get set up before you can get to it. The first thing is you're going to have to be running Java 17. Now this uh, website that I'm at is going to be linked down below. You're basically going to come here, scroll down and you find Windows X64 installer. You're going to click here and download that. Once you have that downloaded you're going to come here, click on it. And you're going to go through the installation process of installing. Second is you're going to want to download Paper. Now, Paper is a really nice web so uh, source to get uh, Minecraft. Now, this is going to support plugins and basically everything. It's going to have um, performance and stability plugins that are automatically built in. Way better than just the normal Minecraft server. You're basically going to click here. It's going to download for you. Now, I've already renamed mine to server, which you guys are all going to want to do. And then you're going to want to create a folder. Name this whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Minecraft Server. Now, in this folder, you're going to want to drag this over here. And you're going to want to re uh, make sure that's named server. Then you're going to want to create a bat file. Now, you might be wondering, how do you create these? Well, you're going to want to go over here and click text document. And you're just going to name this start. Now you see that I have this dot text file at the end. Most people can't see this. You have to make sure that this is checkmarked. So it says file name extensions. Make sure that's checked. And then you're going to come here and click rename. Bat. That's going to create that to be a bat file. And then you're going to click on it. Click edit. Now in here, you're going to want to copy all of this over into it. Now this is going to be in my description so you can get all that. Gonna make sure that's in there. Now the first step, now that you have done all those things, is you're just gonna left click on the server.jar. This is gonna run for a quick sec, and then it's gonna create a uh, UELA file, which is we gotta edit. All right, here it is. So you're gonna click, right click on it and click edit. You see where it says false here? You're just gonna change that to true. Click Control S, or go over here to file, save, and then exit out. Now that you've done that, you can just click start.bat if you've copied everything over correctly. And as you can see, it is uh, launching the server. Now that you have it launching the server, all you have to do is open up Minecraft and be able to join. All right. Now you're going to want to open up Minecraft and click multiplayer. Now in here, you're not going to see your server. That's just because it's not showing up in your network. That's okay. Now my IP is this right now to get to that, you're going to want to open up a certain menu. So you're going to click the Windows key, click CMD, and then enter. Or not click CMD. You're going to type CMD and then click enter. And it's going to pull up this thing where you're going to want to type IP config. Now in here, you're going to see a lot of stuff, which I'm blurring out right now. This is the only thing that matters, which is your IPv4 address. You're going to copy that by doing control C. Open up Minecraft again. And then put that there. Now the default port for servers, which doesn't matter the term, is uh, 25565. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to do shift and then get that uh, colon right there and then do 25565. And then you're going to click join server. This is going to allow you to join the server nice and quick. And boom, you're in the server. Now as you can see, if I do slash game mode creative, it doesn't work. And that's because I don't have admin permissions right now. Now you might be wondering, how do you get admin permissions? Well, you're going to come over to your server menu right here, and you're going to type OP, and then your Minecraft name, whatever that is. And that's going to see, it says, made ser uh, your name a server operator. Now when you go into the server and do slash game mode creative, it allows you to do it right into creative. Thanks for watching today, and I'll see you next time. If you have any video ideas, just put them down below in the comments.